Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. I have been uh, challenged to do a video a day, every day for 30 days, and it's harder than you think, but I was planning on teaching lashes anyway, and so I thought, well, what, what a better time than now. I have three tweens staying in my house tonight. My daughter's having a little get together slumber party, and so I'm shutting myself off in my office and thought it would be great to teach lashes. Now normally I would have done this over on my Good Fit page, which used to be my Fit by 50 page. Um, and I could have gone over there to do that, but Facebook is funny. They take your business page or your like page, which is my Good Fit page, and they want you to pay to put your post into the newsfeed. Whereas my personal account right here is free. I don't have to pay to put my videos into the news feed and I have more viewers I think maybe it's equal but I can get a bigger audience here on my personal page um, so I decided to do it here and I've never done lashes on my personal page but I don't know if you guys know this I am a 25 year makeup artist maybe it's more than 25 years I started in 92 I'm not good at math <laughs> that's why I went into makeup I'm not good at math but I've definitely been doing makeup for 25 years. Hey, hey Michelle. So um, I would say that I've been, I've been doing lashes for 25 years and, and more than that because I really started putting fake lashes on myself when I started going to clubs. I grew up in Los Angeles and I started going to clubs in the late 80s and I would put lashes on. And... Um, and it's because my mom has worn them her whole life. My mom started wearing fake lashes in the 60s. My mom had long blonde hair down to her butt, a beautiful figure. She was tiny. She's only like 5'2". And she's just, she's cute, cute as can be, just beautiful, like head turner. Like my whole life I saw men turning to look at my mom. She would get out of tickets because she was so beautiful and she's bubbly and she's nice. But my mom has worn fake lashes every single day of her life up into the point where she probably started chemo. And then when she started chemo, she was just tired. She was just tired. I don't think she wore her lashes as, as much. Now that she's home, you know, in bed all the time trying to fight this fight called cancer, she doesn't really wear them. But my mom has worn lashes every day of her life since the 60s. And she would even wear them when she went to, well, I mean, anywhere. I mean, even when she was sick, she would wear. My mom always wore lashes. So I grew up loving fake lashes, and I love the look it gives to the eyes. And what I really love, too, is that as I'm starting to get older, I'm 50, um, fake lashes lift the eye. So it kind of gives you a younger, lifted appearance. When I was younger, I had very almond-shaped eyes, and as I'm getting older, my eyes are getting a little bit more round, which is kind of fun. I was I was always jealous of people with round eyes because I had very almond eyes. And depending on how you put your lashes on, you can make them very almond, very cat-like, or you can make them more round. Okay, I'm not going to get into that tonight because this is a this is a course tonight for beginners. Okay, by the end of this video, I promise you you are going to know how to put on fake lashes. I have full confidence because I have taught thousands of people how to do it. I have, I've taught thousands of people how to put on fake lashes. It takes some practice, okay? Don't think you're gonna go out tomorrow and nail it like that. It takes a little bit of practice, but you guys, it's not rocket science, okay? It's not, it's not rocket science. I have full faith that I can teach you to put on lashes and maybe by your second or third try, you'll be like, dang, I'm doing lashes, look at me, I'm putting lashes on, okay? So, couple rules. Rule number one, don't ever put lashes on in a rush because when you are rushed, they are not gonna go well, you're gonna end up pulling them off and you're probably gonna have glue residue left on your eye, okay? If you have a really fun event to go to, if you wanna wear them to a special event, I highly recommend having maybe a little glass of wine. I'm not telling you to get loaded. I'm just saying maybe a little glass of wine might be nice because then you can, I don't know, kind of 
calms you down, right? It's kind of fun, it kind of calms you down because you don't want to be anxious or nervous or uptight when you're putting your lashes on, okay? So allow yourself a little more time. If it takes you 30 minutes to do your makeup, allow yourself 40 to 45 minutes. If you're gonna put on fake lashes, have a little glass of wine. This is a rose from South America. Mm. Michelle asks, asks a great question. She says, does it pull your natural lashes out when you pull them off? No, it doesn't. I mean, maybe once in a while you might find one of your natural lashes in there when you pull them off, but that might have been a lash you would have lost anyway. You know, we lose lashes every day because we're constantly losing them and new ones are growing. Um, but no, it's not going to hurt your own eyelashes. If you wore them every single day of your life for... 20 years maybe maybe you know maybe but if you're just wearing them now and again for special occasions or for a photo session or for a reunion or a nice dinner out with your husband to uh, be a night out with the girls for drinks or something no no they're not going to hurt your natural lashes okay and that's why i use them because um lash extensions that everyone is getting um you know, I know they're improving that all the time, but the the lash extensions of yesteryears, a lot of people would start going bald. They would start losing all their natural eyelashes. So this is this is, I think, a very gentle and effective way. Okay, so we got that down. Be patient. Allow yourself extra time in getting ready. Maybe have a glass of wine or a cocktail to kind of calm your nerves. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you what supplies you need. You need Duo Glue. I want you to get the white that turns clear, okay? Get the white that turns clear. When you get advanced, you will love this one. It comes out gray, it gets darker and darker as it starts to dry and it turns black, okay? But you're not ready for this, so don't even get this one. You want the clear or the white that dries clear, okay? The first thing you're gonna do is squeeze them out Here's some lashes, and I'm gonna tell you more about these in a minute. But take your lashes, and somewhere on your little lash, squeeze out. See how I'm squeezing a little bit out? Look at that, do you see that little lump of glue? Squeeze out a little bit of glue, see that? Two little lumps of glue. Squeeze it out before you start, okay? Tip number one, squeeze it out before you start. You want duo, clear, comes out white, dries clear, okay? Hey, if you guys are tuning in, tell me where you're t tuning in from. I'd love to hear, just put it in comments. I'd love to hear where everyone's from right now, okay? So, and I'll put this all in comments later so you guys can see. I'm not gonna put links because I'm not trying to make money off this. I'm just teaching people. I'm good at teaching and I'm just trying to offer some, some fun in your life, okay? Not, I'm not trying to make money off of selling supplies, okay? So there you go, dual eyelash glue and white dries clear, okay? Next, I want you to get lashes that are called Ardell 110. I know it's backwards because it's a live video, but you want Ardell lashes number 110, okay? Do you see the lash line is like little teeny nubs. Do you see that? Little teeny knots holding a pretty lash, okay? That's what you want when you're learning. Do not get a lash line where it's a black strip, okay? Why is that? Because they wanna twist and turn. The black strip wants to twist and turn and it's going to fight you. It doesn't want to curve to the eye as well. This is for a more advanced, okay? That black line, if you see a black line, stay away from that if you're a beginner. If you're an intermediate, you can start playing with it, okay? You want the 110s. I have used 110s for television, commercial, brides, photo shoots, film. 110s are super natural, and oftentimes when I wear 110s, People don't know I have fake lashes on. My lashes just look beautiful. They look long and thick and beautiful, okay? When you start to get advanced, if you come to me and go, hey, Michelle, I wore the 110s for a few months and I love them. Can you give me 
tips on a more dramatic lash, you got it. I have a great dramatic lash to teach you eventually, but you are not ready for a dramatic lash. You need 110s and white duo glue, okay? Now, here you go. Very few people's eye are this wide. Very few people. And if you were to put this entire strip on your eye, it would go way in here and come way out there. Does that sound comfortable? I don't think so. I never wear a full strip. And I never put a full strip on an actress or model or bride or anyone I do. A friend, nobody. I don't do a full strip. So watch what I'm gonna do. These lashes come off easily, but you don't wanna pull at them because you could um, rip the, you could rip the strip, okay? So you're gonna take your thumb, now watch this, you're gonna take your thumb and you're going to push down on it and kind of roll, okay? So press down on the lashes and kind of roll, roll it out and they come, look, do you see how it's starting to come right off of there? You wanna roll it off with your thumb, don't pull it, because you're gonna ruin them. And lashes aren't cheap, they're not cheap. I mean, I like to get mine on sale. Um, I love to get them on sale. And be careful where you get lashes from, you guys. My mom sometimes will buy them from China and they're, they're so crappy, they're just awful. Okay, again, if you're tuning in, let me know. Put it in comments where you're coming from, I'd love to hear it, okay? Look at this whole strip. Look at how big that is. That is a huge strip, okay? If I were to put that whole strip on my eye, that would not be comfortable, okay? Because it would go way in here and it would poke me and it would not be comfortable. And remember, you're a beginner, okay? Down the street, yeah, Brandy, you are down the street. Cheers to that, okay? Little rose. I know, Michelle, you're in Mexico. That's so amazing. What part of Mexico are you in? That's amazing. Okay. I'm gonna have to put my glasses on for this, okay? We're gonna wait for Michelle to tell us what, where in Mexico she is, okay. Do you see these little teeny tiny pieces right here? Those, that first one? Cut that off, that's too short. Nobody needs that little piece. So watch what I'm gonna do, do you see? Let's see. See that little piece? I'm going to cut it off, okay? You see that? I cut that little piece off. Look at it right there. Do you see it? It's too short. It's not comfortable. Just cut it off, okay? Now, I want you to come way to this edge, okay? See that edge? And you're gonna count over. If you have a smaller eye, you can count over. Oh, ikstapa, ikstapa, right? Ikstapa. I, I've never been, I would love to see it. You're gonna count over six little nubs and, and cut it off, okay? Six little nubs. Oh my gosh, yes, yeah, Shawshank is one of my favorite movies too, Brandy, I love Shawshank. Okay, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then cut in between, okay? So, look at this. Remember, this is a, video for beginners. You're not going to put the whole lash on. So I just cut off that many lashes. You don't need that. You don't need those on the edge. Okay. And you can always save them. Don't throw them out. But now I have a lash that looks like this. Doesn't that look more reasonable and easy to put on, right? That looks so much easier to put on. It's so fun watching you guys talk about that. Keep going. I love it. Also guys, tell me this, if you've worn fake lashes, put a one in comments for me. I would love to hear it. If you, if you have worn fake lashes, put a one in comments. And if you've applied them yourself, put a two. So put a one if you've worn fake lashes in your life, put a two if you've actually applied them yourself. I'd love to hear how that went, okay? Now, I'm gonna take this one off, okay? I'm, again, I'm gonna put my thumb there and I'm gonna roll it off. You wanna roll it off. You never wanna pull at the strip. That's not good for it. You could jack up your lashes. And we work hard for our money. We don't wanna ruin our lashes, right? Okay. I'm rolling it off. Okay, here we go. 
So again, look how long that is. That's ridiculous. Nobody's eye is that long. And if they are, they're probably not going to be wearing this style anyway, okay? So I'm going to cut off that first little nub right there. That first little nub, I'm just going to cut the strip right at that first little nub because you don't need it. And then I'm going to count these little nubs right here. I'm going to count six from the outer edge. You never have, Brandy? I'm so surprised. We'll have to put them on you one day. Okay, you're going to count six little nubs and you're going to cut it off at the strip. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. So now you have this fun little piece. Look at that fun little piece. And if you wanted, you could just pop it right out there on a day if you wanted to. Just kind of make it a little cute, flirty cat eye if you wanted. So don't throw those little pieces off, okay? All right, so save those little pieces. Look, you can put them right back. Watch this. You can put those little pieces right back on there because they leave a little sticky glue on these, okay? Now remember, we're still letting our glue dry. And if, can you tell it's sli it came out white, it's starting to turn kind of a yellow. This is a good thing. You never wanna put lashes on when the glue is too wet and slippery. They'll slide all over the place. It's a nightmare, okay? Aren't you glad I'm here to tell you this? I'm, I, I know you can do this, you guys. This is not rocket science. Okay, so here we go. Now you notice I have my makeup on. So I want you to put your makeup on because again, you're a beginner intermediate, okay? You're an intermediate if you have worn lashes many, many times in your life, but you still think like, oh, I could probably use some tips. You're a beginner if you've only tried them under six times in your life and you don't really think you can do them very well, okay? You're a beginner. So listen to my advice. I'm, I would never steer you wrong. I've done thousands of women, thousands, men too. I've done thousands of people, fake lashes. So I can, I can, I'm telling you, this is not hard. So I'm gonna take my lash this is my right eye. I've already got my whole face on from this morning, but I ran real quick and I put on a little black eyeliner, okay? And I do have some mascara on because it's easier to put the lashes on when you have mascara on because it kind of holds the lash in place, okay? And if you are of a certain age, <clears throat> you are going to want to have a magnification mirror, okay? Let's not kid ourselves. Let's not be silly. You need a magnification mirror. Okay, if you're tuning in late, let us know when you're tuning in from. If you've worn fake lashes in your life, put a one in comments. If you have worn fake lashes and put them on yourself, wear a two in comments, okay? Oh, someone's sending me a, a thumbs up. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay, here's my lash. Ready? I'm going to put the glue on it. Now, you can either dip the lash in the glue or I'm just going to use my finger, okay? It's just easy. Okay, so I have some glue on my lash and I'm gonna go along the lash line. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin and that's where people go wrong. They put it on way too thick and too wet and it's slippery. Do you see that? It's a nice even line. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, okay? I just put it on with my finger. All right, but that glue, how long has that been on there? I don't know how long this, you're a fake glass virgin. Kelly, good job. You've done one and two. Uh, but Kelly, have you done a strip? Because I know you've worn, it, worn individuals, but have you worn a strip before? And Allison, we got to change that. The next time you have somewhere special to go, come over to my house. My gosh. A little bit of wine helps, you guys. Not for me. I've been doing it 25 years, but if you're new to it. Okay. You want tweezers. They don't have to be great tweezers. They could be Revlon for crying out loud. Um, these are my tweezer men, but you know, these are to get little tiny hairs. You don't need top of the line tweezers to put on fake lashes. Okay. You just don't. Not well, Kelly. Well, that's why I'm doing this because I know I can teach you. Okay. You are going to take your lash. Okay. And you are going to hold it with your tweezers. And again, I'm not holding it at the base. I'm just kind of holding it in the middle of the lash, okay? So watch this. Now remember, the glue is tacky. It's not straight out of the tube, right? I poured it 10 minutes ago, so it's had time to dry and get a little tacky. This is where people go wrong. They put the glue on right out of the tube and it slips and slides and it doesn't wanna stick. Um, 
Yes, Stephanie, my, that would be my joy to teach you. Okay, so here we go. Now watch. You want a close-up mirror. I'm going to take it. And remember, it's not a full strip because you're beginners. You don't want it going across your whole eye. You don't want it way in here and way out there. That is uncomfortable and it's going to pose problems. This is why I do about a two-third of a strip and you'll see why. And you'll see why it looks so real and so good. So I'm going to lightly go kind of to my middle to outer eye, okay? And I'm going to set it down for a moment. Because if you, if you try to put it down too quick, you're gonna mess it up. Just set it in one place, okay? And then I'm gonna go to the outer edge with my tweezers. I'm gonna make sure that outer edge is resting on the outer part of my eye, okay? Now this little guy here is popping up. I don't know if you can see that. I haven't tacked that down yet. I always tack it down in the middle, then I do the outer edge, and then I'm gonna do that inner edge in a minute because it wants to stick up this way, okay? I'm gonna go in with my tweezers. And remember, I have mascara on, so it's great because it's my guide. It kind of, it won't let it go on wonky. It's gonna sit right where my lashes are. That's what the beauty of putting mascara on first. Some people might debate me on that, but trust me, I've put these on 25 years. I've put them on thousands of people. I am telling you, put the mascara on first, okay? And now I have tacked that little edge on okay how easy is that do you think you could do that i think you could that's not hard it takes a little practice and then you have to follow all the steps i've given you but i'm a good teacher and i've done this 25 years and i grew up with a mom who wore fake lashes every night of her life or every day of her life you can do this okay if you're tuning in late you can go back and watch the supplies you need, which are not expensive, and the few tips I give you, because they're real important tips, you guys. I'm doing this for beginners, so you can have confidence that you can do this, and I know you can, okay? It's not rocket science. We're not curing cancer here. This is putting on fake lashes, okay? Do you see that? Look at that, okay? Look at that. Yes, Kelly, I'll tell you why I like strips better than individual. Because a strip is going to give you a dark lash line and it's going to lift your eye. Whereas individuals will give you some fun little PC lengths, but it doesn't give you that drama and that kind of, um, the drama and the, the density, okay? So over here are my natural lashes and then here, are my fake. It's not a huge difference. It's subtle and that's why people sometimes don't know I'm wearing fake lashes because I do them in a way where they look natural. They don't look fake and yet they enhance my eyes and they lift my eyes so my eyes that are 50 years old look younger because I lift them with a lash, right? You could do this, right? I know you can. If you think you can do this, put a number three in comments. I really believe it. Do they stay on longer than a day? No, Stephanie, you're gonna wanna pull these off at night and I'll tell you why. Now, I have, had, I have had actresses who have slept in my lashes for an entire weekend, but because they're professional, and I don't know about you, Stephanie, but me, I am a face masher. So I like to sleep on my side, I mash my face, it'll jack up your lashes. But these are girls that would sleep perfectly on their backs perfectly on their backs all night, okay? So they would wake up and their lashes would look great. I'm not one of those people. So you do wanna pull them off at night and because the glue is a latex glue, it's stringy, you know, like rubber cement. So you pull them off and that's it. And then you put them right back here. Guess what, you can wear them more than one time. You put them right back here where I pulled them from, stick them right back on there and you can probably wear them Six, six, about five, six times, okay? You can wear them about five, six times, but you can't sleep in them. Um, the girls who you see online that have the really thick, 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 long, long lashes, lots and lots, those are lash extensions, and you can sleep in those, and you go for a refill every two to three weeks. Um, but that's, I have my, has it, I have my, mm, what do I wanna say? I have my doubts about that. Um, for long term 
long-term health for your natural eyelashes. I have my I have my doubts with some lash extensions, but they're getting better. The glue's getting better. One of my best friends, Kara, does beautiful lashes in Washington. I'm super proud of her. So maybe we're getting to a healthier stage of lash extensions, but the reason I like to glue mine on is because I'm in control of them. I can pull them off at night. Guys, I don't know about you. There's nothing better than when you're tired at night to rub your eye or in the morning when you're kind of like, tired and your eyes are maybe a little weepy because you're tired there it, it feels so good to rub your eyes you can't do that with lash lash extensions okay all right so there you go how natural does that look and it is on there okay it is on there if you're tuning in late go back and rewatch this because I've got tons of helpful tips that will set you up for success okay I don't care if you're a stay-at-home mom and you just want to go on a date or if you're into if you have an online business and you're like I want to look cute and wear lashes but I don't know how watch my video because I'm telling you right now I'm gonna teach you to do lashes like you've never learned before because I want success for you like I care about that I really do okay now so I've taken my glue again remember I poured this glue 10 minutes ago right so it's on my finger and I'm going to go through and I'm going to get it on the lash line, okay? I'm going to get it on the lash line. Thanks, Loopy. I know you could do this too. I know you could do this. And Kelly, thank you for saying and they look great. But Kelly, I know you could do this because you're actually a pretty, you're a pretty clever girl. You're a pretty clever girl. My friend Kelly, I've known since college, you guys. Oh my gosh, and we're still friends and we both live in North Carolina. What are the chances? Okay, so see, I don't have them on too thin. I don't have the glue on too thick. It's just a nice amount of glue. And because this glue has been sitting for 10 minutes, they're not gonna slide all over the place. Now, I will say, if you're right-handed, sometimes the right eye goes on easier. But I am right-handed and I'm now putting on the left eye. It can be a little trickier and this is why I say, Give yourself a little bit of time. Don't rush it. A couple little swigs of wine couldn't hurt to kind of help relax you, right? You don't want to be in a rush when you put lashes on. Okay, so I'm going to take the lashes and I'm going to take them right in the middle. Okay? And I'm going to go into my magnification mirror and I'm going to kind of set them right over the iris of my eye. Remember, I cut those so that they go on two thirds of my eye. This is a beginner video. This is a be this is a video for beginners. You don't want to wear a full strip because it's not going to look right. You're not going to get it on right. So by teaching you how to do two thirds of an eyelash, you're going to get so good at it that then you can wear a fuller eyelash. And I can always do a video like that later. Okay. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to pop this on. Again, it's a tiny bit trickier when you're going right hand to left eye. But I'm going to stick it on there, okay? I have it on. And now, because the glue's been sitting for 10 minutes, it's not sliding all over. It's really holding there. I'm going to tack down this outer edge, okay? Boom, my outer edge is down, okay? And now I'm going to tack down this inner edge. Boom, they're on and they feel amazing. I can't even feel them, you guys. I can't even feel them. But do you see how it gives your eyes like this like dark, dense? It just makes your art eyes look amazing, okay? And some of you might not think so, but I beg to differ. I love it. I think it lifts my eyes, and I think it makes my eyes look younger, and I think it lifts them a little bit, okay? Now, let's, let's talk about this for a few minutes. Um, I did not bring it, but there is an orange stick that works great. You know the orange stick you use to kind of push your cuticles back? You can get them at Sally's or Walmart or anywhere, really, Walgreens. Get an orange stick, and with the blunt tip, make sure when it's still wet, kind of tack it down, and it really helps stick that lash line deep into your lashes, okay? But look at that, you guys. I can't even feel them. They feel so natural. And I'll tell you what, this is how I know I'm good at lashes. I've done them 25 years. When I put them on someone for the first time and they say, guy, they feel good, I kinda don't feel them. I'm like, hallelujah, 
this is paint. I taught art camp today. It's because I'm good at it, you guys. I'm really good at lashes, okay? 25 years, I should be, right? I should be good at it. I don't boast about many things, but I am really good at lashes. Okay, so I have them on. They look really good. Now remember, for a few minutes, you're still going to see a little bit of the white glue, but remember, it dries clear. I promise. It dries clear. And when your lashes are fully dry, if you want to go back in with a tiny bit more eyeliner, you could always go over the glue if it has any sheen to it. Now, for my for my advanced lash people or for my intermediate advanced, I can always show you later how to do a fuller, denser lash and how to do this glue. This is my favorite because I love black eyeliner, okay? This is gray and it dries black, but a beginner has no business using this. It'll make a mess, okay? Especially if you're an older woman over 40 and you're starting to get this area falling into your lash line, you know, you're starting to get that slightly hooded eye, you don't want black because what happens is you're gonna look up, you're gonna look all over the place, and uh-oh, you got little tiny polka dots of black glue all over your beautiful eyeshadow you just blended. So you don't want this, this is for advanced. You want white that turns clear, okay? So, yeah, I, I showed you the dark glue, and Kelly, those are great for the individual lashes. And you know, since you have the dark glue, Kelly, you could totally try doing the technique I just showed with the dark glue. Um, just make sure you kind of keep your eyebrows up and your lashes down and you don't like touch your lash line up here because you will get black glue when it's still wet, okay? So there you go, guys. I've, ha I've had my whole face on, okay? I came to you guys tonight with full mascara, full black liquid liner, and all I did was take one tens and I cut off a third, okay, because wearing two thirds of a lash is so much more comfortable than a full lash. If I had brought them all the way in here, that is not comfortable at all. Not even to me, and I've been wearing them since the 80s. Um, sometimes if I have a very, very, very special event, I'll wear a really thick, heavy lash and I'll bring them a little bit into here, but not all the way because it's not comfortable. What lashes do you like for a fuller lash? Karen, my favorite lash for a fuller lash is Ardell. These are 110s for a little bit more natural. For a fuller lash, I love the Demi Wisps, okay? Not the Wispies. The Wispies are pretty, but they're super long, almost like freakishly long. But the Demi Wisps are so pretty because they kind of crisscross and they're kind of messy like real lashes are. And they're shorter here and longer here, and they're just really dark and dense, and they really look beautiful. And I wear those a lot, and I do those on, I do those on special occasion for a lot of people. And if you go onto my Instagram, um, I just did a gal this past weekend with the Demi Wisp. We needed to do kind of a high fashion look, and she looked incredible she looked incredible the demi wisps are great and i'll also tell you this that when i worked on new girl i bought the demi wisps because my mom has always worn demi wisps as long as i can remember my mom has worn demi wisps and when i worked on new girl i brought some demi wisps to, to georgie the, the department head for makeup and i said look at these lashes these are so pretty you should use them and she did and zoe liked them zoe deschanel liked them and, Z and georgie used them georgie used all lashes on zoe zoe's very fun and experimental and she likes those big fun twiggy lashes of the 60s but they used demi wisps once i brought those in they started ordering them because they're beautiful they're absolutely beautiful oh perfect karen okay so there you are, you were just validated. The Demi Wisps are beautiful and they're very popular and they have been for a long time. I also love the Faux Mink. So the Ardell makes a lash called Faux Mink. They're a little bit more expensive than a natural lash, but you can still get them on sale if you're a sale girl. And the Faux Mink is so pretty because they're more like J-Lo lashes, right? Remember when she wore those mink lashes about 10 years ago? They're so silky looking and they're so, like when it gets to the tip, the tips are just so, so, so thin. Um, they're gorgeous, they're absolutely beautiful. I love the foam ink lashes and they come in all different styles, but yeah, Demi Wisps are great. So, 
what do you guys think? Like, do you think you could do this? Based on this video I just did, do you think you could do this? Do you think you could pull this off? Um, because I think you could. And if you go back and listen to the tips, um, I would love it if you would try it and get back to me. I mean, people message me all the time. I will get a message from someone and they'll say, remember that video you did a year ago on that mascara? I've been buying it ever since. I love it. And that makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, Karen. I love Ulta. I love Ulta. They all the time do buy one, get one free. And sometimes when it's this, you know, you buy the, the four or five pack and you can buy one and get one free. Heck yeah, we're going to take advantage of that, right? So yeah, I love I love that. Um, okay, everyone, you can go back and watch this video if you need more tips or if you missed the beginning. The beginning is very important, so go back and watch the beginning because the tips I give will set you up for success. I know you can do it. I feel really confident that you can do it. And um, again, tell us where you're from. If you are watching this as a replay and I'm no longer live, would you please put replay in the comments? I would love to see if you watched it live or a replay. If you have worn lashes, remember, put a one in comments. If you have worn lashes and you actually put them on yourself, put a two in comments. Um, and yeah, if, if you try them, let me know. I would love to hear about it. Okay, that's it for now, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this has helped you. I hope you feel like this has... Um, added value to your day and if you are a makeup girl like me um, please share this video I would really appreciate the share um, or like or comment or tag a friend who you know is a makeup girl or someone who has a big event coming up and they've talked about putting on their own lashes then tag a friend in the comments that would be really fun I would appreciate that okay everybody um, oh thank you Thanks so much, Karen. I appreciate it. <laughs> Coming from New Jersey. Woo, woo. Love it. I love New Jersey. I love Jersey. I do. Um, I've had a lot of great times in Jersey. And of course, it's right next to NYC, which is my favorite city in the world. I love New York City so much. Okay. Have a great night, everybody. And um, I really appreciate you tuning in. And um, I'll be back someday with a heavier lash video for the more advanced lash wear. Okay right?